In this video, I will be reviewing a TV show called The Killing, Seasons 1 and Seasons 2. Just to be upfront with you, this does contain spoilers, so if you have not seen the show, then I would highly advise to skip out on this video and go watch the spoiler-free version. So with that said, let's jump into it. So Seasons 1 and 2 are all about finding the person that killed Rosie Larson. And toward the end of Season 1, they lead you to believe that Richmond is actually the one that did it. But then, as you get into Season 2, you find out that that's not really the case. And I must say that I did have a complaint going from Season 1 into Season 2. There was a whole ordeal about Richmond supposedly being Orpheus at the end of Season 1. Now maybe I missed something somewhere, it's quite possible that I did, but in Season 2, the Orpheus thing seemed to get dropped and the Richmond connection to it seemed to just be discarded completely. Again, maybe I'm missing something there, but it seemed like after Richmond got shot and then everything seemed to kind of turn around, it seemed like the Orpheus thing kind of got discarded, but again, perhaps I'm missing something. In addition to that, it also seemed kind of strange to me how Holder showed the fake image toward the end of Season 1, yet in Season 2, he'd never seen the really fake any consequences for it. There seemed to be a focus on the bag that he swapped out, but not so much the image in which he handed in and he knew it was faked. Now perhaps it did get solved somewhere, but if it did, then I did not notice it. Now just to be upfront with you, Season 2, to me, felt a bit stretched out and kind of lost me in places. Honestly, just to me personally, the ending of Season 2 felt a bit unsatisfying. I didn't so much mind the fact that Richmond's sidekick was the one that was covering a lot of things up that Richmond did not even know about, but the thing that kind of irritated me was the very, very tip ending of Season 2's season finale. The fact that after everything was said and done, the sister was the one that did it. So I am supposed to believe that Rosie Larson's aunt, who had never had a violent bone in her body throughout the entire series, suddenly became okay with an innocent girl drowning as long as she didn't know who she was, simply because she got tired of hearing the two men outside the car arguing. To me, that sounds completely ridiculous and like they were just trying to force one last twist ending into the plot line just to have a twist ending. And that's why that ending gets a big thumbs down from me because to me, Mitch's sister being the killer just seems completely out of character and unreal. Realistic. Even though I was not a fan of the twist ending of season 2, I did enjoy the seasons overall. So with all that said, I'm interested to know what you thought. Did the plotline holes that I mentioned not get resolved at all, or did I just miss them? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. With all that said, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.